Ready, set, on your mark, get set, go. It'd help if you use yeah, use the, the sharp, <laughs> use the sharp part. Oh, I was, it was upside down. Do you need some help with that? No. Because they might be able to help you. There's a present for you in there. Yeah. It says Richard and Lorelai. Sorry, it's late. Enjoy Santa. You didn't get to hug Santa. Next time we see him, you can hug him. How about you open up the present? You gotta take your jacket and your boots off. Tear away. I see something in there. You see something in there? Lorla, are you gonna help? Mom, this is top. This is top. You want me to get the top? Yeah. Okay, what is it? You think it's a car? Yeah. Are you sure? Mom, I really want to play with it. You do? You really want to play with it? Yeah. Okay. This is my best present ever. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I can't reach. You can't reach? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Is that the best day ever, Richard? Yeah. <laughs> Finally tonight, a heartwarming homecoming. Marine Staff Sergeant Mike Epperson came home from Iraq last week. His two daughters attend St. Mary's School in Cardin, Ohio, and the school adopted his Marine unit, sending packages and letters through the year. So the sergeant went to visit the school to say thanks. But for his two daughters, Caitlin and Kaylee, it was a surprise. They didn't know he'd come home. So at a school assembly, the principal, Sister Sandy, she's called, Come on in. opened the door, and Sergeant Epperson simply walked in. It took his daughters a moment to realize who was there, and after that, well, no words are needed. Hey, I'm home, okay? I'm home, man. I'm probably going to cry, so I apologize. I haven't seen them in, in almost eight months. And I'm glad I'll be home. All of your warm uh, care packages, boxes, and letters like that got out to all the Marines there. Every one of them said thank you. Every one of them, all those three by five cards that you made me, I read every one of those. Every single one. And then Caitlin and Kaylee took him to meet their classes. Have y'all been good? Yeah. Yeah. Caitlin's class sang the anthem. And the emotion of the moment overcame her.
and overcame her dad as well. Welcome home, Sergeant. Nice to have you back. That's our special edition of World News for this Monday. I'm Charlie Gibson, and I hope you've had a good day. For all of us at ABC News. like a dream 
and uh, even if, if it was a dream, I, I don't think I could have imagined something as spectacular as this. So, so thank you everyone, uh, WBN, uh, Cincinnati Bell, everyone involved. And this is incredible and, and I can't be more excited and I can't wait to see the look on my wife's face. Thank you for coming and uh, thank you for your support. Uh, I'm actually thrilled that uh, my family is the fire outside. A motorcade through the streets of South San Francisco <laughs> was an unexpected welcome for PFC Matt Zander. Still overwhelmed a little bit. Before the 19-year-old Army soldier <laughs> was greeted by dozens at City Hall. Today we're welcoming home uh, Matt Zander. His family met with the Patriot Guard riders to prep for his homecoming. To honor another A quick prayer and it was off to the airport. Not much sleep last night. Where Dad Kirk Zander. It's been almost a year since we've seen him. Rush to the terminal gate. The countdown's been on for a week. With his wife and family. It's very emotional. I just can't wait to see him. Moments later. There he is! Xander appeared among the passengers and walked through the crowd straight into his mother's arms. <laughs> Xander was applauded by strangers at the airport, greeted by high school buddies. It was awesome. Well, I haven't seen her in almost 10 months, so it's, it's good to see everybody. He looks different. He looks different. Left, left an 18-year-old kid and came back a 19-year-old man. And there was more once he got to City Hall. I was expecting my family and friends, but not all this. A presentation of coins and a plaque. We knew that this was a young man that deserved to be celebrated returning home from Afghanistan. Xander was part of the police department's explorers program in high school. It's a little different going on right along patrols in South City and then going on patrols in Afghanistan. And he plans to join the force after the army. That's where I grew up, so I want to work here. And as soon as he's age ready and as soon as he's done with his commitment to the U.S. Army, we will take the steps to put him in the police academy. But for now, this homegrown soldier plans to relax. He gets 16 days before he heads back to base in Fort Hood, Texas. Living life in South City, that's all I can say. Xander's family just wanted to give him a welcome home to remember in a city that he can't wait to serve. In South San Francisco, Christina Rendon, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Hi, Gabrielle. You, are you going to do it yourself? Okay. I'm going to make a video for Daddy. Is that okay? Do you want to go over here by the sign of Daddy and we'll leave him a message? We're going to leave him a message. So if you want to, can you stand right underneath that sign? Cool. What do you want to say?
<laughs> what do you think, Gappy? Is that a good surprise? <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! I miss you so much. I miss you so much. Towards the middle. Nope, just walk this way. Straight out and turn. 